Uh, Daily Puralis, thanks for your time today. Uh, yeah, long time since I first met you. We used to train at Don Charles Gym years ago. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your own boxing career. You box pro. Yeah, man, I, I, I box pro. I was amateur, undefeated professional. Um, cut short because obviously I had an injury, couldn't carry on anymore. Um, you, you know, and then you got like certain things in my personal life got in the way. But I thought, I'm, you know what, I could have been a world champion and keep the same dedication and focus and just turn that into being the best coach I can be and eventually be up there with one of the best uh, names in the game when it comes to coaches and produce world champions. So that's why I only take on fighters um, in the, on the pro scene that I believe can get to that level. I like that you actually care about your fighters yeah, and you want to see you want to see a future for them. Yeah. First, I'm happy for you. You've turned your life around. You've become a trainer now. What advice would you give fighters that are, you know, after boxing, they don't really know what to do with their lives? Study the game. Be dedicated. Focus. Don't cut corners. It's, it's a short career. And um, I know a lot of people don't like to hear it, but yeah. I, I tell the truth. You can die in this sport. And that's what people don't understand. One punch can turn your lights out, but not turn your lights out where you get back off the canvas it could be a life-threatening um, end to your career where you don't wake up again and that's the hard truth about boxing so any up-and-coming boxer out there they have to understand that and dedicate your life even if you're the fittest you still got those risks but at least you give yourself half a chance um, to take away those risks by preparing properly and taking it seriously oh, and last question for today your fighter, Deji, is fighting on Saturday. Uh, tell us about preparations and tell us what you know about his opponent. Well, he's a, he, he only come to me only six weeks out. Oh, wow. Yeah, my brother, I've been with him for a year, so I've been moulding him and moulding him. Deji happened to do it in a short space of time. So it was just about conditioning him, conditioning him, um, uh, giving him the right tools to win this fight. But as, as I told him, the journey is, is it doesn't end here because if he keeps going, and then he's only going to get better. And, if, and, and in a year from now, you'll, you'll even see a better version of him. This has only been six weeks, so it's just about <laughs> drilling that mentality into him to go out there and do a job and try and stick to a game plan. I see. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's boxing. You need to get into the lifestyle a little bit. Thanks for your time and see you soon, bro. No problem, man.